morning. Yeah, he's going to come up and repair the blind, but it's his day off. I didn't want you to wait for the repair. Oh, well, I wish I'd always had landlords like that. Uh, but look, really, it's no emergency. I know you must be consumed with worry about your family. You really don't have to waste your time here. Thank you very kind. I appreciate that. But actually, if I can do some work with my hands, I'll take my mind off of that. Oh, well, if that's the case, be my guest. I really can't imagine what you're going through. No. Well, if somebody had set out to torment me, they certainly found the right way. I'm going to get started. Morning, Dr. Rivera. Hi, morning. Have you heard from the conference? Yeah. Oh, hi. Excuse me. Really, Marley? Yeah, well, I might as well be here at home. All I do there is pace and try to figure out ways to reach Robin. Mm -hmm. And come down here and try him out. So you've already seen him this morning. And from the look on your face, there is no change. Apparently, she was awake most of the night. Mm -hmm. The nurse said she could almost feel the fear in Robin. Certainly, she could see it in her face. Well, didn't they give her anything to help her sleep? Well, I don't want to sedate it. Not if we can help it. Mm -hmm. I know what Robin's doing. She's erasing reality. Deliberately numbing herself to the pain it brings, and there's nothing I can do to bring her out of it. Well, Tom, I know you care a lot, but you really shouldn't be putting all this blame on yourself. It's not right. That's part of the job. Well, she's sleeping now, and I'm hoping this sleep will help us bring her out oh, of that show. Yes, one moment, please. Okay. Dr. Ravel. Yes. They're ready to start the conference oh, now. Thank you, George. I really have to go now. Look, Simone, we need to talk very, very soon. I feel as if the bottom dropped out of something the other night, and I'm not sure what it is. Well, yes, but I, I have to run. Kelly's after the conference. Uh, at noon. Okay? Thanks. Found the culprit. This little gadget here. Look at this. It's so cheap. It's all twisted like a straw. No wonder you couldn't move these in any direction. I'm surprised. Oh, great. Do you have a new one? No, that's Murphy's fourth law, I'm afraid. The one spare piece I brought is the one spare piece I do not need. And vice versa. Yeah. Never well, mind. I have a couple of pairs of pliers here. I can probably twist it back into shape. I'll try. You're a very brave man. You know it? Why? You're going to climb up the top of a ladder. No, you know what I mean. You must have this incredible fear for Anna and Robin eating away at you, and yet here you are, holding up, going about business. Well, it's hard to be expected to crawl into a hole and lie there. <laughs> no, I guess not. Still, I wish there was something I could do to help. You're very kind. You know, everybody feels like that, but... Nobody loves Anna very much. The only thing anybody can do is find her, and not even the police can do that, I'm afraid. I can know I... Well, damn it. <laughs> I'm not terribly good at these things, I'm afraid. Look at this. I've, I've broken it. I'll have to go buy a new one. You won't mind if I come in here when you're gone, do you? Oh, no, not at all. I'm expecting a few calls. I should be here for a while. Okay. I'll see you later, then. I didn't know you like this, but I didn't have your number yet. 
Well, I gave it to your secretary. You did? Well, she didn't tell me. Maybe you didn't ask her. Well, I want to talk to you in person anyway. About? About Sean, of course. I just wanted to make sure that you meant what you said the other day about keeping your hands off it. I said it, didn't I? Well, you know, that's what I told myself. But then I thought, Tiffany, you know, you got to believe somebody sometimes. So maybe I should trust you, right? Well, I'm glad somebody finally said that to you. Well, good. Let's try to be sisters. And let's trust each other. Let's, you trust me, I trust you, okay? I'd love to. Good. Okay. And I really meant what I said about calling a truce over this silly Sean business. Well, sweetheart, it wasn't that silly to me. You know what I mean. Oh, I'm sorry. Excuse me. No wonder you're so freed up. You're having lunch with somebody. This oh, is great. Well, look, it's really not... Oh, you don't have to explain. That's, I, you said there were a zillion other men in this town, and believe me, there are. I think it's wonderful. Well, it's Tiffany, funny. you don't understand. It's uh, not... Well, this ought to just about... Oh, hi, Tiffany. I didn't expect to see you here. I, uh, well, yeah, I can believe that. Um, don't we really afraid? Enjoy your lunch. Thanks. Tiffany. Bye. Yeah. Goodbye. What's the matter with her? Oh, Tiffany is a very excitable woman. It's nothing, believe me. Yeah, I gotta get back to the blinds. There. That ought to do it. Thank you. That's great. No, my pleasure. Now, if anything else goes wrong, please, I'm going to let me know. I'm going to go out here before your lunch guest arrive. Oh, ah, uh, do. My guest is already here. I made lunch for you for being such a great landlord. Oh, well, that's very kind of you, but you don't have to do that. Listen, I have a club to run in St. Angel's Day off, and I should... When was the last time you had a good meal? No, when was the last time you ate at all? To be honest with you, I really haven't thought much about food recently. Yeah, I know you're sick with worry, but if you don't eat something, by the time Anna gets back, you're going to be sick with something else. Yeah, you're very kind. I suppose it's true, really. All I do is worry about both of them. I can't imagine what Robin must have seen to make her the way she is just now. She obviously saw her mother get hurt or something. And I just... Well, yeah, it's driving me pretty crazy. Punishment like this, I, I wouldn't even devise it for my worst enemy, it's true. I'm sorry, I'm just... I'm babbling on, I'm sorry. No, really, it's all right. I think you need to talk. Was well, this what you Americans call, uh... talking the whole thing out, yeah? Yes, it's supposed to be therapeutic. You know, if you keep your pain inside, it eats away at you, it's like poison. Yeah, maybe. I suppose I just, I thought we were blessed. Anna, Robin, and myself. Now we were so happy together, but it seemed to be, it seemed to be more of a, a victory of circumstances than it ever was a marriage. Not in the past. No. Well, the glory days are they're certainly over. Even if Anna comes back tomorrow alive and well, There'll never be such a thing as a innocent knock on the door. Well, the child will never go out to play, but I'll really worry myself to death. No matter how much love there is, I, I think the simple days are over. That's sad. I'm sorry. You're very kind. This therapy of yours, it might just work. Well, it really won't have done its best unless you stay and eat something. Just a snack, really, will you please? Sit down for a while. You don't know who I am, do you? No, I don't. 
Why, where's his cousin? 